Hi, everyone. So I've prepared a little presentation here that should help us to understand the way that the kidney in particular helps to regulate the pH of blood and body fluids. Now, the primary job of the kidney is to regulate water content in the body. Um, it releases more dilute urine with more water in it if we're sufficiently hydrated and more concentrated urine with less water in it if we, have, if we need to retain water. Uh, but it also has important roles in electrolyte balance as well as the regulation of pH. Um, as you may remember, um, anything with a pH below 7 is an acid. Anything with a pH above 7 is a base. Um, the pH of our blood is typically around 7.4. We'll, we'll get into that a little bit later. But just to, to summarize what's going to happen here, we have two ions that we're going to talk about. And for those of you without too much chemistry background, I think this will be helpful. So H plus is known as the hydrogen ion. And hydro the hydrogen ion is basically what makes solutions acidic. Literally, um, the pH scale is a measurement of how much of the hydrogen ion you have in a solution. So the more hydrogen you have in the blood, the lower the pH is going to be because hydrogen ions generally make solutions acidic. Uh, one great example is stomach acid. Stomach acid is primarily an acid called hydrochloric acid or HCl. And so anytime you're going to try to lower the pH, you want to have more hydrogen ions in the blood. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have the bicarbonate ion. And the bicarbonate ion has the formula HCO3 with a negative one charge and it makes solutions what we call alkaline or basic. And alkali is basically a soluble base. So most of the bases we talk about are technically alkalis. Now, a great example of a compound that we know about with this ion is baking soda, uh, which is NaHCO3, sodium bicarbonate. And actually, we use baking soda to clean up acid spills in the lab. Um, it's very effective at neutralizing acids that way. And the more of this bicarbonate ion you have in the blood, the higher the pH is going to be. Remember, um, bases have a pH above 7. So the kidney in this context can do two things. It can retain a given ion in the blood. And if we retain that ion in the blood and don't get rid of it, it will have the effect that it normally has. So if we retain hydrogen, um, the blood will become more acidic and the pH will go down. If we retain bicarbonate, then the pH will go up and the solution will become more basic. Or if we want to remove the effect of that particular ion, we can just excrete it from in the urine. Um, the kidney has the power to filter those things out and get rid of certain ions in the urine if we need to regulate pH. We'll get into the role of the lungs in this as well um, this week, but the goal of all of this and the goal of, uh, of this entire negative feedback loop is to maintain a normal blood pH of about 7.4. So let's look into a little bit how we do this. So if the blood pH is too low, this can result in a condition called acidosis. This often happens with people with lung issues, like my dad had pretty advanced emphysema, and he couldn't get rid of carbon dioxide efficiently enough. So the carbon dioxide remained in his blood and actually caused its pH to lower. So his kidneys um, could actually help to compensate for that. Uh, what happens is that you excrete hydrogen ions in the urine, so they no longer have the effect of lowering the pH and you retain bicarbonate ions in the blood, which in the end causes the pH to go up. Remember, the one that we retain is the one that has the effect. So uh, that could be a pretty good way to get the pH back up to where it needs to be. Now, if the blood pH is too high, that's a condition called alkalosis. Uh, that can result from a, a number of different conditions as well that we'll get into. Now, the kidney can, again, help compensate for that by this time retaining hydrogen ions in the blood. Remember, if we have more hydrogen in the blood, then the pH is going to go down. Um, and we're going to excrete that bicarbonate ion that would make the blood basic to begin with in the urine. Um, in that way, we get rid of the thing that would bring the pH up, and we retain the ion hydrogen, in this case, that would bring the pH back down to where it needs to be. So uh, hopefully this quick 
summary of the kidney and pH regulation helps us with the assignments we're going to do this week. And thanks for watching.